like the sad, strange little man that I am, I was searching around eBay for unique vintage lenses when I came across something that caught my eye. This damn thing. This thing is a freaking lens. The MTO 1000A is honestly the most unique lens I have ever come across. I have seen nothing in my life like this thing. Produced for the ever adaptable M42 mount, the 1000A is a mirror lens that can be easily adapted for modern cameras. You can see the mirror design down the barrel of this lens. I decided that this would be a good lens to try to test out on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Now, when you count for the speed booster I have on here, in addition to the Micro Four Third crop, this lens is about a 1500 millimeter. Now, you don't mount this lens to your camera. You mount your camera to this lens, and you hold it with two hands because, oh my god. For reference, the long lens that I use for wildlife and bird photography especially is a 100 to 400 millimeter. Basically have to use this lens outside because it has a fixed aperture of 10.5, which is a uh, pretty tough to light an indoor environment enough to use this and I guess you would probably need like an Air Force hanger to be shooting you across to even use this inside, uh, so outdoors it is. The quality of image you'll get out of this lens is, uh, let's just say it's not the best you're ever gonna get, but considering the fact that you are actually gonna be shooting around 1500 millimeters, at least with the current setup that I have, uh, not much else is gonna do that for you, so you're taking what you can get on this. And honestly, one other feature of this that I love is the bokeh. Due to the weirdo mirror design, you get a ring bokeh um, for all your out of focus light elements. Hands down, it's the coolest part of this lens and it's going to catch people's eye when they see it. Honestly, this thing is as much of a gimmick as it is a production lens, so it's really cool though. <laughs> I want to do this lens some justice. I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to get the best footage possible out of this thing. I'm going to let that footage play for the rest of this video, so let me know what lenses you want to see in the future. If there's anything absolutely wacky like this, please send it my way. I, I, I want to do more stuff like this. This is really cool. So I came out to this beautiful meadow with the 1100 millimeter and its 550 millimeter little brother to see what kind of footage we could get. Let's get some samples. So as we're shooting here, I'm noticing we're getting some really interesting donut-shaped bokeh. And now, somehow, I'm going to shoot with the 1100 millimeter. I'm already noticing I'm having a lot of trouble getting anything framed, and because the slightest amount of wiggle or even touching the focusing uh, sets the entire thing completely out of whack.